Yo, what's going on guys, DJS here, and I'm bringing you guys a tutorial of where to find the blue skulls. This is in solo, not in campaign. I actually saw NGT post a lot of these, and uh, so big shout out to them for finding these sort of things. But um, I really, really wanted to try these out solo to see if, if this Easter egg is going to be possible solo. So as I kind of follow along with them, I'm just trying to figure out if this is actually going to be doable or not. And uh, you can see right here, you can get the blue skulls in solo mode. And uh, I don't know what it, it attributes to and what that ends up meaning, but uh, it makes me want to try to get them. So I wanted to go ahead and uh, make an effort. And I did get four out of the five. The fifth one I just could not get. Uh, their, their video was not very clear on it. I tried to use a gondola and it wouldn't work, and I'll show you that in a second. So the first one was in the room to the right of the spawn. The second one is at the very top of the rooftop. And, uh, and I'm just going to show you guys the next uh, couple as well so this one's in the warden's room you're gonna look to the uh, right hand side right up here on and, and this one bounces back just fine but um, the fifth one for some reason just doesn't really play nice anyways the fourth and the fifth one are on the docks if you go over to this dock area right here I was cooking a grenade for some stupid reason but you want to throw that there and you can see the skull right here um, also you do need to get the axe in order to do this obviously otherwise it won't work if you need a tutorial on how to get the axe go to my description and check the playlist because there will be one in there um, and the last one this is one that I was just trying to figure out um, they said it was right up above right up here and actually I did go into the the other mode and I did notice a blue skull on top of there but for some reason it just doesn't pick it off so uh, on, a, on a side note I did not go to um, the the bridge yet and I was able to collect all of these other ones without going to the bridge um, so just making a note on that one. Uh, the last thing I wanted to show you guys, or there's a couple last things. In, inside this area right here where you need to get one of the parts for the airplane, I did notice when you go through the wall, there's something kind of fishy down there. It looks like there's some right here, like a graveyard thing or something. I was trying to electrocute and push buttons. This ha I have a feeling this has to do something with an Easter egg of sorts. I just don't know what. Um, if you guys maybe have an idea, leave a comment let me know. But definitely just trying to learn as much as I can here with this... Uh, with this new uh, map really enjoying it quite a bit definitely refreshing from die rise and uh, i really like the different angle they had um, one last thing is there is a poster on the inside right over here when you shoot this thing you can see uh... that it, it actually lets you go behind it now you have to do this and i i confirm this uh, even in, in solo you have to do this uh... when you are done going to the the bridge you can't do it before and then there's like a spoon and a skeleton down here and I was trying to push buttons and I don't know if you have to throw the axe at this somehow from above that's kinda of what I was picturing but I don't know anyway hopefully you guys enjoy this quick little video and looking forward to uh, figuring out what this Easter egg is later guys